the uh, passenger side is already done. It was easy to do the passenger side axle. What you're looking at right there is the driver's side axle. I just pulled it right out. It came right out and see that other piece is still there. And there it is. So I gotta take that out. So what's in my way right now for the two that I just bought, I'm gonna need that all this to be open up. So I gotta take this out. As you can see, I disconnected everything else and I didn't take that off. That I did not take that off, I just moved it to the side. That's all. So the only thing I took off were these two for the shock take off. And this is the brake, the uh, the hub, uh, the hub and everything for the tire to get on. So I took that, put it aside, as you can see. It's just dangling, it's right there, it's out of the way. So I'm gonna take this off next. And all it is, is just these screws right here. Just these screws right here and it'll come right out. And that's how it looks so far. I'm gonna show you another way, which is gonna be the right way for me. And um, it's gonna make a big difference. I got this. I'm gonna use this. Since today I didn't have nothing else, just this piece right here, I'm gonna use, stick it in there, and then I'm gonna clamp it. Use the two vice grips that I got right here. And I saw a video of a guy, same thing with two vice grips. And put this in there first in the two vice grips and pulled it out with the slide hammer. Alright, let's see how that goes. Alright, I got the two vice grips in there. And let's see what happens. Two five scripts. Here we go. Try, try again. There you go. Finally did it. Got out. Ooh, with one pull. And this is the guy, Brandon Lawson. His video was Polaris RZR Broken Axle Removal. The easy fast way. Brandon Lawson. I saw his video and I did it. And it worked in the first time. After I, you know, it took a couple of times, but once I got it hooked up and it was catching. And then I give it that one slide, came right out. So yeah, this the man right here, give him a like.